We're here again and we're just as uncomfortable as last time. Let us begin. <laughs> Again, I'm Kelsey and I'm single and we thought it was really funny to make me do the hunter baby challenge. <gasps> She's in labor! Oh, this is the moment. Chelsea is in labor. Last time I issued a challenge to all of you to make baby daddies for Chelsea, who's going to have to have a hundred children in this baby challenge. But since last time I met so many eligible men that I'm gonna hold that so you got extra time. We'll be checking out your baby submissions next video. We're back in Chelsea's home. It is night on the town night, which I think means New Year's. It looks like Olive's birthday is tomorrow. Olive's gonna be a toddler. Olive's gonna need a bed. Olive's gonna need like a high chair, like a lot of stuff. So we really need to start hustling with the, with the writing. I guess she's writing a, a romance novel. Good job, Chelsea. You're crushing this. Ooh, level five. She's really, oh, oh no, Olive is upset. Change that diaper. Pause, pause, D don't do that. Baby first. Oh, we finished writing a book. Okay, we got published that. Oh no, Olive is sad again. We will rock you. Boom, boom, ch. Boom, boom, ch. And she's got a baby certificate. Oh my God, should we place that somewhere? We totally should. But this is gonna be our baby wall. And hopefully we'll have a hundred baby certificates on here by the end. Oh, sell to publisher. Yes. Body language, yeah! Ooh, we're a one-star celebrity because we've written so many books! We're gonna be a famous mom. Can we use our fame points to do something cool? Networking. The social prowess to deal with fellow celebrities. We should have this one so she can talk to that famous guy more. Feeling good, feeling fine. Ooh. Oh, it's Happy New Year's, baby! I think this also means <gasps> it's our baby's birthday! It's our baby's birthday. Yeah, it's our, why did I start singing that song? Life of I, imaginary numbers in you, sure. Oh, our baby's upset again. Every time we sit down, it's kind of like my dog does that. We're like, I can't believe I'm comparing a, a baby to a dog, but technically this is a sim baby, so it's kind of better. My dog does that where every time I sit down to eat, he needs something. So either he needs food too, or he needs to go outside. And what's worse is like, it'll be right as I finish cooking. So like everything's hot and ready and I put it down and then he's like, can I go outside? And I'm like, it's gonna get cold. But I love him, so I guess it's fine. No! Our computer just started fritzing and that's our livelihood. I guess we'll have to learn how to fix the computer. Why don't you try to fix this now? I hope she doesn't die by fixing this computer, otherwise, uh, we're gonna have to have a very short challenge or Olive is gonna have to take up the mantle. Oh my gosh, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Yes, our handy queen. She doesn't need a repairman, mostly because repairmans are expensive. I think she did it. Hey! Oh, you left a bunch of trash. Oh, we just got $156! We just... Whoa, body language made so much money. Oh, is she having... She's having an accident. She just peed herself. Oh, Tuga, Smurbs. Clearly, I, there was too much going on and I didn't properly take care of my sim. Oh, Jay Huntington is asking us to go over to his house, but we shouldn't leave the baby, so uh, sorry, we can't come over. You can go over here. We just beat ourselves, so we might need to clean up. And then we need to eat. If this sim survives me, I'm gonna be so proud of her. Go take care of your baby. I know you're embarrassed because you peed yourself. I'm embarrassed too. I keep trying to let her eat and she just really hasn't had time. Oh yeah, watch New Year's Eve TV, how cute. Oh, the baby's crying again. Or you're gonna be aged up today. Okay, here we go. <gasps> All of aged up toddlers. Okay, so we gotta do a random one. We're not allowed to choose their traits. Take a random number between one and eight. It's two. Great, this baby is angelic. How nice, how convenient for us. Olive is so cute. She's got her mom's blonde hair. Oh, oh, look at her. Moment <laughs> day. Oh wow, you're gonna be expensive, aren't you? That means it's time for a makeover of the house. Welcome to Kelsey's Extreme Home Makeover, but not that extreme because we don't really have that much money. Okay, this one looks good. We'll get a cute color for her. What color does she want? Oh, that was cute. And we'll put it under the window. That's pretty cute. What other things does a toddler need? The toddler needs a high chair. I really like this yellow theme for our baby. She needs a toilet. That's real. You think we could just put it in the bathroom with ours? Yeah. Oh my God, it's next to the big potty. It's so cute. Maybe we'll get like a little toy for her. Toddlers only. Imagination skill, creativity skill, cute. It's a little cat. All right. 
I think we got it all. That's all kids need, right? A toy, food, peeing. <laughs> I wanna change the wallpaper a little bit. All right, we made her a little room. It's very simple, but you gotta start from somewhere. How cute! Wow, now what do we do? Can we put her to bed? <laughs> Here we go, you're going to bed now. Oh, her bedtime clothes are so cute. Good night, my sweet love. She's got all these values. Oh my gosh, we could really mess up our children. Just like in real life. Her New Year's Eve was awful. What do you mean? You had a great New Year's Eve. Your daughter aged up. Oh, Olive needs to pee. She doesn't know how to potty on her own though. So I guess I gotta wake up and help Olive to go potty. All right, Olive, you ready? Now is the important time in a child's life where you got a potty in a potty. She just waved like you can't get to the potty, so I guess I gotta move the potty to like a better location. Is it weird to have the child's potty in their room or is it fine? I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, she's so cute. She's so imbalanced. <laughs> well, she acquired the potty skill. We are parents as heck. Are you not going? Go. Why aren't you going on the potty? It's spring now. <laughs> Ew, they made all the like toilet noises. Now our baby is hungry. So I guess we gotta food, food our baby. She says, I'm hungry. And I say, okay, I'm gonna take you there to food town. Celebrity level lost, dang it. Aw, oh, man. She's just taking some time off of her high-level celebrity status to be a good mother. She's gonna take a nap while the baby's eating. Now the baby wants out. Let out the baby. She has no energy. Oh, 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 that was so cute. All right, now she's gotta go to bed. And baby will, uh, baby needs fun, so we're gonna play. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Goodness. This is great. She is adorable. Wow. I never really knew that this is what it would feel like to have your first child. I'm enamored. I just got Olive, but already I would kill for Olive. <gasps> oh my gosh, Chelsea's in labor. This is not a drill, Chelsea's in labor. It's time. Did she go back to bed? No, Chelsea. <laughs> You have to wake up and have your baby. Dominic, this is not the time to ask me on a date, okay? I am busy, but thank you for your interest. <gasps> it's a girl, it's another girl. Paola, Brielle. Brielle's kind of cute. Brielle. Let's go on home with Brielle. No time to waste. Gotta get pregnant again. This baby making a clock. Jay, come on over. There's some great performers playing. Santa's asking us to hang out. Not the time, Santa. I love that Chelsea's two best friends are Santa Claus and Nancy Landgrab. And also, of course, all of her lovers slash fathers. Oh my God, we should do a, like a Father's Day and just invite all the fathers over for a party. That'd be fun. Oh, she gave him a kiss to greet him. That is so cute. All right, let's have a baby. Oh, he said yes. That's good. Oh no, where are you going, Olive? Oh, Olive is walking outside. Olive, no, no, no. No, Olive, uh, go here. We need more toys for our baby. Boom, toys. Meanwhile, Chelsea's, you know, working on baby number three. Now we got pregnancy test. Come on. If not, we'll have to just go back into the bedroom. <laughs> oh, we're eating for two. Yay, tell him the good news. He'll probably be a little surprised as, you know, anyone would be in his situation. But maybe he's excited. He looks a little not excited. Oh, okay, no, he's pumped. Okay, well, good for you. All of these men, I feel like she tells him at the top, right? Like, hey, I've got this goal. Wait, we got our second baby. Birth certificate. Baby number two. What's parenting? Yes, let's teach to say please and thank you. Very good parenting. What a good parent. And she's pregnant now! So we can move on to our next man. I think we wanna try for Thorn, but we gotta get a little bit more. I feel like if we were a little bit more of a celebrity, maybe that would help. We feed the baby. I'm apparently a little hungry too, so maybe I'm gonna, I mean, she's a little hungry too. She's smelling her cereal. Does that have a nice bouquet? Oh, our baby's cranky, we went too far! <laughs> no. Oh, she's crying. We're a horrible parent. Or she's cranky. I don't understand children. We can't ask Thorne to, wow, he's just too cool for us. Forget everything, baby's upset. 
Oh no, baby woke up our other baby. No, 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 go back to bed. Okay. But, oh, she's feeling nauseous. Who's that outside? He's wearing a cool sunglasses and Christmas hat. Sergio. Dag, dag. Dag, dag. Oh, get to know. Oh, she really needs to go. Maybe this isn't the time. And the baby's crying. Well, at least we met him. Oh, wow. Sergio just came into our house, so maybe he really is gonna be our next friend. He's gonna talk to our baby, because our baby's upset. I changed that dirty diaper. Maybe make a little flirtatious joke. La la la, you're in my house at midnight. I found you walking by the front of my house with your sunglasses on and a Santa hat, and I knew you had to be mine. <laughs> Compliment his outfit. Be like, Sergio, you got a fashion sense. She needs to sleep, though. Sergio left. Oh, is she coming into our bedroom? This is so cute. She's gonna wake her up at, at night. Be like, oh no, she's waking her up by crying. That's not the best news. Oh, perfect. Get, get less sad, my darling. She needed to potty. It's very convenient. This toddler, all you have to do is check the toddler and then the toddler tells you what it means. Aha, Lissarac, Bomb Karoo. It's taken a while. Why is she sad? Oh, did she mess up? She had an accident. Oh man, shoot. Now other baby is crying. They're both hungry at 5 a.m. Whew, parenting, man. I really wanted to be a parent, but now this just seems like a lot of work. It's almost Brielle's birthday. Wait, what? Our baby's already aging up? We'll have two toddlers. Uh-oh. Okay, the babies are up and they're doing stuff. Olive is coming into the bathroom while she's showering. Okay, we gotta feed Olive here, or I mean Brielle. We haven't even properly seduced our next man yet, but I think we got a, a, a little bit of a head start on Sergio, so maybe we'll invite him over. Oh, he's here, okay. Ooh, double task, I love this. Get to know, oh, so we can write and we can talk. Oh, she's smelly. Can she take a bath without me? No, she needs me. You know, you should just keep playing until you get really smelly and then you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, just keep playing. <laughs> got, we gotta write a book and seduce a man. We can't also give our child a bath. Oh, we need to ask Sergio if he's single. We haven't done that yet, and that's an important step I have learned. He is single. Good. Oh, she finished writing her book. Okay, good. Sell that to the publisher. Oh, wait, is he leaving? Sergio! Sergio! Dang it. Oh gosh, the baby's crying again. Why is everyone sad? I can all, I only have one at a time, time. Oh my God, Sergio came back into, Sergio scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I was like, a stranger is in my home. But I appreciate you, Sergio, for trying to help. Oh my God, why does she still cry? We've done everything. I need to pee. Sergio, a total angel, has just stuck it through. <laughs> He's taking our garbage out. I have never had a boyfriend take out my garbage. Oh no, Olive is really hungry. I have hardly enough time to keep up with Chelsea's needs, let alone all these kids' needs. Oh, she's tired. Okay, go to sleep. Good girl. Olive is such a good girl. She's taking care of herself a lot, so I feel like Olive is definitely gonna be one of those like kids that, oh no, that helps take care of the other kids. Brielle is very fussy. Olive was never this fussy. Olive is going to bed on her own like a flippin' champion. You gotta sleep. Sleep while your kids are sleeping. We still need to seduce this guy. Oh no, a baby's awake and she's hungry and tired. Oh no, she's crying. Oh, she's so hungry. Oh no! Remember when her life was fun and she was just a single gal? Oh, our, and our toilet? Our toilet? Toilet too? Are you kidding me? Our toilet just broke and is spouting water everywhere. Our baby is crying. Our other toddler was is very sad because it was very hungry. I, meanwhile, have had no fun in ages. We still haven't seduced Sergio. Yo, our baby is crying and needs aid, but like we don't. We're also hungry and gonna die. Oh no, she's losing relevance as a celebrity. Everything's going wrong. It's Brielle's birthday. Okay, I think we should just age up Brielle so that we can, we don't have to take care of her crying anymore. Brielle aged up. Okay, now we gotta pick a, a treat for Brielle. Pick a number between one and eight. It's three. It's three, so this toddler is clingy. 
Great. And we're gonna sell this and we're gonna get a toddler bed for Brielle. Brielle's taking herself on a walk outside with her little rain boots. She, Brielle is honestly so cute. I would argue Brielle might be cuter than Olive, which I would hate to say, cause you know, as a parent, you're not supposed to compare your kids, but she is so, Flipping cute. Oh, she just fell asleep in the bath. I think I'm gonna sell the bathtub because I think the bathtub takes longer than a shower would. Brielle, no! No, bad girl. Reprimand her. Discipline, firm. Express disappointment. You gotta parent this girl right here. She is making a mess. Brielle, this is not how we do it in our house. The Impeachic Schmei family does not condone making a giant mess. Learn your responsibility. I'm gonna clean up. Oh, she needs to go to the bathroom. I'm a level five parent. I'm hardcore. I now have a new appreciation for my own parents. One time, when I was a kid, <laughs> I drew on their couch with my chapstick. I'm really sorry, mom and dad. She is not feeling well. I think we might accidentally kill Chelsea. Wait, I don't think we can wash Olive in this in a shower. We can't. Oh, flap. Okay, we gotta delete the shower. All right, we gotta give Olive a bath. Okay, she's tired of blocks. All right, we gotta get this kid something else to do. Why are you so needy? Okay, we'll get her a dollhouse. That's pretty big though. It's kind of expensive, but I feel like it might be a good investment. You love it. Olive, no! Now Olive is making a mess. No, I gotta teach Olive responsibility. Everyone's going to bed. Everyone's in bed. We did it. No, we did it! One of them's up and she's sad. No! Is this how it's gonna be with a hundred? I'm gonna slowly go insane. Oh my God. Chelsea just passed out from pure exhaustion. She's taking herself to bed while her daughter poops. She's sad because she's tired. Go to sleep. Put yourself to sleep. Don't wake your sister up. Go to, no, go to, go, go to bed. She made a big mess, but I don't care. They're all asleep. Everybody's asleep. It's fine. Yeah, eat and watch TV. Get those two birds one stone. Hopefully your fun will go up a little bit. You know what will be fun? Sergio, come on over. Come on over, Sergio. Hey, what's up? First kiss. Amongst all of her children's paint splatters, Sergio, he's wearing a little cute outfit. Oh wait, we can wear woohoo with Sergio. Let's woohoo with Sergio because honestly, she needs some fun. Go have fun, girlfriend. Your kids are sleeping. Sleeping? The time is right. Well, I'm in labor. Ah! Oh my gosh, she's in labor. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have the baby at the hospital. We're gonna send her alone. Baby number three. I'm not good with baby one and two. It's a boy. Oh, our first. Corey? Corey's kind of fine. Landon! I went on a date with a boy named Landon once. Uh, Josh, Barry, Keith? Keith came up randomly. I can't have baby Keith. Jamie, Jamie's cute. I like Jamie because it reminds me of, whoa, whoa! What are you doing, Sergio? <gasps> You're just destroying my house while I'm gone? You know what, Sergio? We already invested a lot of time and effort, so we're gonna try for baby with you, but I'm real mad. This house looks horrendous. <gasps> Jamie's hungry! Okay, everything's terrible, everything's terrible. If we don't feed Jamie, Jamie's gonna be taken away. My mom just passed out. Ah, uh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Go feed Jamie, Jamie's the most important right now. I've never felt like I wanna use cheats more in my entire life. Okay, I'm putting Jamie in my bedroom because I don't want Jamie to keep the girls up. We're gonna invite over Sergio, who is dead to us because he ruined our child's flippin' home like a monster. I'm really trying to take care of her needs. That's like the worst part. But I just really want to win this challenge in as little episodes as possible. <laughs> All right, now one of my children is playing in the dirty toilet. Woo, we're eating for two. He got in our bathtub? This guy, she is pregnant with baby number four. We have three children. I'm gonna leave this here because I think I need a break for motherhood. It's clearly too much for me. I can't wait to look at all the eligible bachelors you guys are gonna send me. Thank you for watching.